Welcome to 150 Days of the Psalms. This is Simone Swaby with Trinity of Love Ministries through the Holy Spirit. God bless you. Psalm 11, King James. In the Lord put I my trust. How say ye to my soul, flee as a bird to your mountain? For lo, the wicked bend their bow. They make ready their arrow upon the string that they may privily shoot at the upright in heart. If the foundations be destroyed, what can the righteous do? The Lord in his temple is in his temple. The Lord's throne is in heaven. His eyes behold, his eyelids try the children of men. The Lord trieth the righteous, but the wicked and him that loveth violence his soul hateth. Upon the wicked he shall rain snares, fire and brimstone, and a horrible tempest. This shall be the portion of their cup. For the righteous Lord loveth righteousness. His countenance doth behold the upright. Psalm 11, the message. I've already run for dear life straight to the arms of God. So why would I run away now when you say, run to the mountains, the evil bows are bent, the, wi the wicked arrows aim to shoot under cover of darkness at every o heart open to God? The bottoms dropped out of the country. Good people don't have a chance. But God hasn't moved to the mountains. His holy address hasn't changed. He's in charge as always. His eyes taking everything in. His eyelids unblinking. Examining Adam's unruly brood inside and out. Not missing a thing. He tests the good and the bad alike. If anyone cheats, God's outraged. Fail the test and you're out. Out in a hail of firestones, drinking from a canteen filled with hot desert wind. God's business is putting things right. He loves getting the line straight, setting us straight. Once we're standing tall, we can look him straight in the eye. Here ends the reading of the Lord's word. Hallelujah. God bless you all. And as I was preparing and reading this before... And I just said, my God, Lord, hallelujah, how timely is your word? And, and, you know, only God, I could not have set this up myself from when I began this project for the Lord, for his people, for you all. And I pray it's been blessing you. But just for the hour that we're in, that the specific day for some of you watch, catch the news, you know, that the, the, the president. So we have to just pray for his wife and, and for himself, his, their healing. Hallelujah. God knew and saw all these things and it is for a reason and for a purpose. And maybe even to uh, for him to understand a little bit about uh, what he's doing and, and to turn him. It's a pivot. The Lord showed me the word pivot. It's a pivot turn. Hallelujah. So but with this scripture, the Lord said he's on his holy hill. His holy address hasn't changed. God knew what was coming. So, so, beloved, don't be alarmed. Don't be afraid. Right? The Lord has got this country and the nations covered that will come under submission to the living God. So we must continue in giving over our sins to the Father, giving over our unruly thoughts, giving over our unruly ways, because this country will fully come back to the living God. Hallelujah. And we must continue to pray for the leadership to keep them steady, to keep them uh, out of corruption, to keep them to come out from corruption and under from under the, the, the enemy's plans. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So continue to pray. We, we plead the blood of Jesus and his healing, his rapid, fast healing in the name of Jesus over him and his wife, over the president and his wife in the name of Jesus. But with this beloved in your own circumstances, and God is saying, even in this hour, nothing has changed for the plans. Nothing has changed. That's why he said, even as you th see things unfold, do not stir. Do not go for the left or the right from the plans and the promises he's put before you. What he set before you. Right. Do not turn your face. Be like a flint. Look unto the Lord as a flint. Set your face towards Jerusalem. Hallelujah. Towards his peace, towards his throne, towards his righteousness. Hallelujah. Towards his justice. For we said in this hour, the Lord is dispensing justice and correction and alignment. And sometimes that comes in different forms. But we we need to just continue to pray over the country, over everyone in your communities, for their healing, for their correction, even 
today as we enter uh, into the, the, the tabernacle, right? The Lord's saying to tabernacle, to worship and praise and enter into thanksgiving. Hallelujah. No matter what your circumstances look like, beloved, for that is how we win the victory, which is how, that's how we claim the victory. Hallelujah. That's already been won. Hallelujah. It's already been won, says the living God. So do not be dismayed. Do not turn to the left or the right, but stay steadfast in the living God. Hallelujah. God bless you all. Have a blessed night when, or whenever you listen to this. God bless you. Shalom.